Hey, what's going on guys? So it's the Meldon Trail with another video. This is my 16th take, trying to do a voiceover. I'm in my kitchen right now and um, I know everything is kind of crappy, but I just want to do a quick video tonight just showing you how I use two simple oils to moisturize my scalp and also what I use to refresh my scalp. Now, sometimes when I do re uh, retwist my locks or freshen it up, I do retwist one lock just to see if the root matches with the lock itself. Because I've been going through a lot of stress and the medicine that I take and the, my diet, um, you know, really shows through my hair. So I just want to make sure everything's on point. Um, I did use witch hazel in a washcloth just to, with some water, just to uh, get the scalp clean. You know get it freshened up and I'll also put it on my locks because I want to get the smell out of it and you know cigarette smells outside smell and yeah all that gets trapped in there I'm parting my locks right now because I'm about to use this wild growth oil now this oil works yes it works it works it works some people don't like the scent of it well I, it doesn't bother me at all um, the only thing I will do is just mask it with something else just a little bit but it does help out with your hair it thickens it and I've seen a difference within the three weeks of my last purchase of it I've used this product years ago but I don't know what what stopped me from buying it um, yeah I don't know why I stopped but it works and I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers using it on Instagram and everybody else on Facebook, Tumblr. So I was like, you know what, let me go and buy this. I'm jealous. So that's what I did. It's very inexpensive. It's about, uh, about seven, well, between six and seven dollars and fifty cents, I guess. I don't remember how much it was, but I know it was around about that, uh, that price. Now I'm just using this oil just to moisturize it to get it through my locks and my scalp. I hate to put oil in my in my hand and get it through my, you know, and expect it to get all over. No, I like to part it and use the nozzle to get the oil through my scalp. Now I'm using coconut oil just to give the extra moisture, sheen, and the scent of coconuts with lemon and ginger. It is the best. It is the best. Now it may seem like I'm using a lot of products, but I'm not, and it may seem like I'm overdoing it. And I'm not. I know my scalp and I know my hair. My scalp tends to dry out a lot and my locks, yeah, they dry out too. So they need a little bit of loving. And as much loving as they can get from me, I will do. Now, I usually do this treatment with between three to four days out of the week. If, let's just say I do it on Monday, I will do it on a Thursday. And then I will do it on a Sunday. And as of tonight, I knew that something was up with it. And the last time I moisturized my locks was on Saturday. So it's been a couple of days since. So I just want to make sure everything's get, everything gets through while I'm letting my hair grow through its period. And meaning that, just wash and just condition and just let it go. No retwist, no nothing. And it has been three to four weeks because I don't want my hair to thin out and I don't want it to break off as it did before. And as you see, the brown streak I have in there is just... You know synthetic hair the afro kinky hair i just wrapped it around my lock because i didn't want to cut it so um i'm trying my best to save my locks as possible as you can see i did cut some locks in the front of my head you know because you know it was just time to go you know what i'm saying so and it's just hair it will grow back and i'm not on no re religious you know binge with my hair or anything if, if i said that wrong forgive me but my locks, I did not start my locks for any religious beliefs. I just wanted locks. They're so beautiful. They're so nice. And it shows a lot and a lot of strength. And if you can survive the first stages of getting your little itty bitty twist, you can survive anything. <laughs> so it's been nine years with three years trimmed off. Um, one thing I would say to new people who are, you know, locking up, do not use colors often do not bleach it if you do follow the steps to keep your hair moist and moisturized and together um i've learned my lesson learned my lesson and as you can see my hair is thick but it's not as thick as i want it to be so i am working on that i'm changing up on my diet and trying to leave the stress alone and using um minimal products for my hair so as you see i do need a little touch up but as you see i'm done so I think of a viewing this video, like and subscribe if you can. Later.